welcome back to Maine Outdoor Adventures with Sarah and Brandon. Today we had a few hours, so we decided to head on down the road to Wilson Lake. Something a little different out here late season. Most of the ice shocks have been removed. There's just almost nobody out here today. But we've got a rainstorm coming in later today, so we're hoping to get some of that uh, good fish feeding time uh, right before the storm. Um, not too cold out today, really. It's in the 30s. Nice to be out here above freezing. A little wind blowing in on us though, so we don't have too much time, but we're going to get set up and uh, hopefully get a few flies. Here we go. We got something. We just set that trap. Holy crap, that's heavy. And this is what we got. Here it comes. Oh my god. Oh, that was a bass. And it was probably freaking the biggest thing I've ever seen. Yep. Same trap. We didn't even get the bait all the way back down, and something came right up to it. Probably another bass. line behind you because it wants to go and yeah another bass doesn't feel i mean it doesn't feel that heavy but this way feels about the first one here we go folks we got another one on let's see what we got yeah, all right now if you can't get it to turn now let it go i was trying to let it go yeah you might have to let it go down keep it tight. i was trying to let it go. It's not moving though. Yep, yep. No. There you Stop go. Her. There you go. Good job. There, there we go. go. There we go. Whoa! Yep. Woo! That is a fat, fat fish. Look at that. Well, folks, we're not catching toad, but we're catching we're some catching. bass. Yeah. Woo! Wow. This is one of you. This lake makes some big bass. I caught one like that in my kayak. I didn't really want it in the kayak with me, to be honest. <laughs> I need help. Well, I'll see where it is. All right. Oh, yeah. 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 Bass, you can do that. Ready? Yep. 
you go. Check it out. There oh, we go. It's in the way. It's not very good. All right, I'm going to get this guy back in the water so someone else can enjoy uh, catching him another time. You'll feel it when it wants to. Yeah. There we go. And he's gone. You usually just give them a minute and they're ready to take off. Yeah, when you guys are putting the fish back, don't go back and forth with the fish. Correct. Hold it in the water and the fish will let you know. We'll start moving his tail. Let it go because it's really bad going back and forth for the fish. Yeah. Put that reel in because it'll freeze. Once again, name drop. Off to the side. Yep, sure is. Let's see if it's on. I think it is, because that's moving. Taking it, ain't it? Yeah, let it check, let it take some. Another thing too, when somebody's uh, bringing up the fish, it's good to have two people down there. One person with hands, in case they need a, uh, need a little help. Whoa, 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 yep, yep, go ahead and take it. Go Hold it ahead, tight. Fishy. There you go. Nope, yeah, nope. that's a big one. Yeah, that's pretty big. One. Good job playing it. Yep. You gotta come up towards the hole, whether you like it or not. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Woo! It's kind of huge. This, this is a uh, bass honey hole right here we got. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's honey huge. hole. I wish we had our thing to weigh these. Look at those forceps, they're awesome. I don't know if they're really called forceps, but. Oh, there we go. Hold that up for the camera and it can go right back in. That's awesome. We just moved about an hour ago and I just came over here and uh, jigged it a bit and was looking on the sonar and I saw something down there.
think it's a white perch. Oh, is it? By God, it's a white perch. You called it. Little one. Another flood on the one we've gotten all the bass on. many bass we can get from one trap. That's yours. I've already gotten, I don't know, three. Feel as heavy. Mm. Oh, yeah, I see it. Not as big, though. No, it's a little smaller. Grab it. Grab it by the wet. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's a lot smaller, but <laughs> I mean, that's still. Pretty darn big fish right there. That'll be easy to get out. There we go. Alright, buddy.
jet is off to the side. Oh yeah. Here we go. Oh, we're gonna have a visitor. Holy cow. Oh, puppy. <laughs> oh, puppy. That's alright. Yeah. Puppy can come visit. You doing some here? Reel's going a little bit here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Don't know what to think. Wrong side. Oh, definitely. Uh, you want to see me catch a fishy? You want to catch a fishy? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. That one doesn't feel as big either. No. But big. What are you doing? You good puppy? Oh, I lost it. Did you? Yeah, it's gone. Oh, no. I gotta see if I. Nope. Nope. Probably small. Maybe it's just really small. Well, really small. I mean, yeah, compared to what we've caught today, really small. What we have here is flag number eight on this trap. And it's funny, is fish active on the sonar all over this area, but they only hit, other than that white perch, they only hit this one. Maybe not this time. Ooh, this seems a little hard. Oh, is it? Yeah. Nothing there? We lose bait? Yeah, that was really hard. I wiggled it and it was okay before I left, but. Huh. I don't know. Let me check and see if we got any bait. If not, I'll bring some over. Uh, it feels like there's bait on it, okay. but we'll see if it's alive. Yeah. No, they're finicky. They wouldn't take the dead bait. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's pretty dead. I'll pull one on for a few more minutes. We are just picking up and we got a flag on a different trap. Falling over. Nothing happening? Nothing happening down there. No. Off to the side, straight down. Straight down. Wanna check it? Probably the biggest one of the day either. Did I just lose it? No, no, okay. Swim around. Sometimes it feels that way when they swim around. Yeah, it's definitely smaller. Smaller, but still not small. Woo there we go. How many bass does that make today? We've caught eight. We caught eight bass. And seven of them came out of one hole. 